everybody, my name is Welland. Today we'll be looking at what remains of Edith Finch. I don't really know too much about this game, but it's gotten some pretty positive reviews since it came out last week, so that's what we'll be looking at today. And what I know of it is basically that it's a girl, Edith, trying to uncover her family history. One more thing to note is that this is what people would call a walking simulator game. Not everybody's cup of tea, but not a problem with me at all, so with that said, let's start looking around. Yeah, this happened as soon as I booted up the game. There's no menu or anything. And it looks like we are on a boat. Where are we going? Nobody knows. Oh! Is that her diary? Uh... A lot of this isn't going to make sense to you. And I'm sorry about that. I'm just going to start at the beginning, with the house. Oh, so it looks like in the current time, Edith is on the boat, but she's going to tell us about what happened here. Someone had put up a chain link fence, but it looked like I wasn't the first person to hop it. <laughs> Ooh. My brother Milton disappeared when I was four. It was like the house just swallowed him up. Milton Finch. I believe Edith is the last person left in her family for whatever reason. So, the brother's been missing since 2003. Born in 1992. So 11 years old. What date is it right now? I'm not too sure. But it looks like that's our family house. Oh, it looks kind of... Kind of thin, doesn't it? And way out in the areas, way out in the woods. I lived here until I was 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. Hmm. 11. That's how old her brother was when he disappeared. Orcas Island Gazette. Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago, marked urgent, open immediately. And yet, they were never opened. And I guess we don't want to read those either. Come. Huh? I hadn't been back since my brother Lewis's funeral. So the brother who went missing is Milton. And she has another brother, Lewis. Can I get around this? Mm. Oh. All right. <laughs> Does this whole area belong to my family? It's huge. In her will, my mother left me a key, but didn't tell me what it unlocked. Maybe she thought I'd know. Or she thought that the mystery would be enough to bring me back. Well, I left home. I left home on purpose. Seems like there might be two ways. House is over there. Oh, this goes to the house, right? So maybe what I want to do is go down that way. Hmm. Who knows? Who knows? This way seems a little bit more dangerous. Just nature. Nothing to be scared about, I guess. The truth is, even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. But now I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. She left her family when she was really young, so she doesn't know too much about her family. The woods around the house have always been uncomfortably silent. As if they're about to say something, but never do. It's very silent indeed. It seems like this just goes back to the same place as the roads. Fair enough. 
basketball hoop. Washington State. Right, that's where we are right now. Washington State. Oh. The house was exactly like I remembered it. The way I'd been dreaming about it. <laughs> okay, so this part of the house looks pretty normal. But what's going on up there? What's this? Some sort of... Boat? It's a fish's mouth. Or that's what it looks like anyway. Maybe it dropped off. I asked Edie once about the dragon in the pond. She said it had killed her husband. I was oh. six. It seemed like an odd joke to me even then. It's a dragon. So it was already like this by the time she left. But nobody seems to have bothered cleaning it up. Alright. It's full of moss and grasses. As a child, the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. Now, as a 17-year-old, I knew exactly what those words were. I was afraid of the house. So it's been six years since she left. And now nobody's here. And she owns this whole place. Oh, do we think the key... Oh. Hmm. Oh. Is that how you're gonna go in? Prowling through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. Oh, I didn't look around yet outside. The power had been turned off the night we left. The night we left. Edith is actually talking quite a bit. It makes me feel like I should just kind of let her talk and not talk as much. There's a lot of stuff here still. For the first time in years. Edith. Milton. Lewis. Dawn. Edie. Siblings? Just siblings or do they include moms and dads too? Seems like siblings. Yeah. We about we know about Lewis and Milton and then we heard about Edie. 2010. So it seems like this house has been abandoned for quite a while. I felt like I was home. Oh, they left in quite a hurry. None of this has been packed or anything. No power. But instead of a family, there were just memories of one. Dawn is the mom. Edie is the grandma. There's me, Edith. And then, Louis. Oh. Milton's not here. In loving memory, Louis Finch. Oh. He died, right. Beloved brother to Edith, son of Dawn, great-grandson to Edie, great-grandmother. Memorial service. Um, well, immediately, it seems like the dad is not- Can I go back outside again? I just want to make sure the coat racks didn't have a dad's name on it. It didn't. Great-grandma? Mom? Brother? Brother? Me. Hmm. Might be a single family. Ew. <laughs> I 
And they really left in a hurry. So many books. Cooking books? But considering how long this place has been left alone, it's relatively clean. Like how only one restaurant would deliver to our house, so we had Chinese a lot. <laughs> Can I zoom in on that? Uh, kind of. Imperial Palace. Oh, when you recognize those boxes, those Chinese takeout boxes, or Vietnamese. <laughs> Lots of cooking books around here. Oh. Yeah, that happens when you leave the house alone for a while. One time I went on vacation for like a month or two. And when I came back, that's what happened to one of our shelves. This is the kitchen area. And I'm gonna assume that the clock doesn't work anymore. Yep. These people have a lot of books. I love reading. Wait. Or how after Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got sick of eating salmon. Except our cat, Molly. Is that the Space Needle? In Seattle? Barbara Finch. One of her ancestors? The table was still a wreck from the night we left. Hmm. They did leave in a hurry. Went cruising before? Family photos. Ooh, this one's really old. Ah, this goes back out to the garage. Is that a window to the garage? That's convenient. Oh. Edie needs a... Is that an oxygen tank? Hmm. It was like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. And they were still eating Chinese that night. <laughs> More cruises. Lots and lots of books everywhere. Somebody even left their iPod. My mom was the only one of us who could imagine Great Grandma Edie living in a nursing home. Oh, that's a topic that strikes home for me. <laughs> I have an elderly living with me, so that's a problem that I understand all too well. Public Market. That's Seattle as well. That's actually where the very first Starbucks branch is located. And you can go buy some overpriced coffee beans and mugs there now. <laughs> I know, because I've been there. Ah, they're in Washington... They're not in Washington, D.C. They're in Washington State. Nothing in the house looked abnormal. There was just too much of it. Like a smile with too many teeth. <laughs> it's too, mu too many books. But yes, within Washington, that's where Seattle is. Even the fireplace had a story. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house after it sank. Wow. Sank. And half of it is gone. <laughs> there are just so many books. Wow, this is a breathtaking view. Can we go outside? Is there a door here? Maybe not? I feel like just judging by these chairs, you can already tell which one's Edie's. It's this one. <laughs> There's a lot of old, traditional-looking stuff around here. Empty boxes. They really left in a super hurry. Oh, this must be their original house! Wow, horse carriages! Dang. A paddle! Does someone kayak or canoe here? Hmm. 
Books. 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 Was that a speaker I saw up there? That's a fancy house. Surround sound system. <laughs> oh. Is one of them a hiker? Insects? Barbara. Hmm? Great Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara, along with the rest of the house. Who is Barbara? It's somebody in my family. Um, Dawn? Is that me? Lewis and Milton? I don't see Edie here. So there's also this place here, but it goes down, so- Oh! Does the key open this? Mom always told me to stay out of the basement, so I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't fit. <laughs> Alright. Yup, and this just goes back to the kitchen. They really love reading this family. And photos! That's a great habit to get into! Taking photos of everything, because that's one of the only ways you can preserve time. Oh. A lot of things got left behind in the whirlwind of that last night. Hmm. My mom wasn't much of an optimist, but she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. What happened to the rest of her family? Grandma, great grandma Edie. Ah. Elderly people equipment. I know this all too well. <laughs> Ooh. That's a real fancy looking door. Nope. I'll leave you alone for now. Right, so great grandma Edie. Well, maybe her time is... After Milton disappeared, Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. <laughs> oh, I was wondering why there were peepholes in all the doors. My friend Bigfoot. Barbara Finch! Whenever people ask me about my family, the first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. Barbara's famous. Is she a famous child actor? Actress? Oh, this goes way up. Holy crap, how can they read all these books? There's so many. Great grandpa? Edie's father, Odin, built the original house. Odin. Badass name. Barbara was a child star for two years, until America grew out of it. <laughs> oh. Can we ever get inside? <sighs> Guess not. Wait. Barbara? Barbara died really young. What the heck? That's her- that's how long she was alive, right? 1960 minus 1944. It's 16 years old. What the heck? So I guess when mom sealed up all the bedrooms, it's because there's a lot of unused bedrooms here. We just can't- we can't go in here, can we? We can just look? Alright, alright. Ah, the electricity powers that show they have going on inside there. We could go up, but I want to see what's going on. On this floor first. Oh 
my god, this house is packed. This house is kind of like a hoarder's house. Sven and Edie. The last time I was in Edith Senior's room, I was 10 and she was painting my portrait. Edith Senior. This family has a long history. It's one of those traditional families that name their kids after the great grandmas and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can tell that that's uh, when the people passed away, because Edie passed away very recently. Well, not very recently, but recent enough. Edie was... 93 years old. Sven. Sven Hofstadt Finch. 1964-1915. Only 49. Not as lucky. How come Edie, it doesn't say- oh crap. I'm just wondering, how come it doesn't say Edie Finch? It just says Edie. And then for the other people, it has the full name. It's a nice bird. Calvin? Is that Sam? 11 years old, what the heck? My grandpa Sam spent seven years sharing a room with his dead brother. Calvin. This family definitely has some type of history with early deaths. How come Sam's name is not here? Gregory. One- oh my god. As a kid, I just assumed every house had peepholes and sealed rooms you weren't allowed inside of. Hmm. This is a bathroom. Well, Gregory never made it. One. And now I'm the last one left. Hmm. Yeah, so these were all the bedrooms of the people who aren't alive anymore. Which is okay if they're sealed. Oh? <laughs> Somebody here really likes insects. Molly? Molly was 10. Molly always seemed like a girl I could imagine being friends with if she hadn't died in 1947. These people never- none of them. A lot of them never made it past 20. A lot of them never made it past 15, let alone 20. And they just kept these rooms. Instead of letting a living family member reuse it, they just left them all alone. Which is nice, I guess, because that's like preserving the memory of them. I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. Which is not locked up for some reason. I think my mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. Why was it not sealed up? Finches. Who is the art person in our family? Is it me? Every wall, every door is painted upon. That's really cool. And you got some nice natural sunlight going on here too. Ooh. Very windy outside. Lewis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. 20,000 leagues under the sea. Could this be it? No way. Turns out, my mom was really good at keeping secrets. Whoa! Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. Oh, this has a really... You now, before we started the game, I thought that this had a vanishing of Ethan Carter feel to it. But as it turns out, seems like it's actually really similar to Gone Home. In that we're exploring a house. Secret attic. Secret tea party. Secret drawings. By who? From the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. 
Is that a cat? But did anyone come in here after that? Reading this. Maybe it sounds like I had a plan. Reading what? Oh. But I had no idea what was behind that door. Oh, reading this because she's reading this from her journal right now. Just like I had no idea where all this was gonna lead. Whose room is this? Molly. It's Molly's room. I grew up looking at Molly's room through the peephole. Whoa! Okay, this family needs to clean up stuff because they have poop in there. <laughs> Molly's gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier gerbil cage. Aww. But the gerbil is long gone. Monsters of the deep. The magic mountain. Bed bug. Nine lives. The call of the wild. Being inside for the first time, I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. I mean, that's really close to what happened. And that's her bed. Molly. Orcas Island calves. I got the sense Edie had spent a lot of time here before my mom sealed the doors. Uh, what's Edie's relation to Molly? This family is so big, I'm not too sure. But judging by the dates, uh, how old was Edie again? Maybe Molly is her sister. Molly Finch. December 13th, 1947. Dear Diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's gonna happen. It started when mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving. So I looked around for something to eat. Please don't tell me you ate gerbil food. <laughs> the gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. Oh, we can leave. Wait. Oh, and this was what her room looked like back in the day. Some fish. Oh? Huh? I thought about eating Christopher, but I held back. <laughs> That's horrible. December. Oh, it's very dark. 1947. That's when. That's the year Molly died. Whoa! Was cutting up starfish. I know they grow back, but you don't have to do that, man. Edie and Sven. Molly. Yeah, so I think Molly must be Edie's sister. Oh, I'm too short for the mirror. I kept eating and eating. Whoa! What did you eat? Oh, is that how she died? I ate a lot of things that night. Maybe eating the wrong things is how she died. I don't think this is normal. What did she eat earlier? Toothpaste? Seems like it. Oh no. Then I heard chirping outside my window. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. I reached out for her. Whoa. And suddenly... I was a cat. What? What's happening? Is this because of my very vivid imagination? 
Or... Oh, look! There's like foundations of a house down there or something. How the heck do I... Can I do anything here? Ooh! I can jump a little. Come here, little birdie. I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. Hmm. We gotta get the birdie, don't we? Look, it's Christmas time. You see presents under the tree. I have a bell. My bell rings every time I leap. Yeah, the Christmas tree and the fireplace is on. The house looked relatively similar back in the day. They still got the same lamp. The ugly lamp. <laughs> Where's the little birdie? Oh, there they are. I have no idea what's going on though. Is this just some kid's vivid imagination? Or something more spooky? Mom and Dad didn't even look at me. Oh, Mom and Dad. Where's the birdie? Oh, I can't get up there, can I? These cats. They can climb anything and everything. Birdhouse. Ugh. Stay there. Dang it. You're leading me, birdie. Oh, this seems a little dangerous. I jumped and I almost got her. Close, but no cigar. Oh, but what is this place? She was getting really tired. Yeah, because she doesn't jump too far away now. What's this? Somebody was hanging out here on this treehouse area. Nope. Now I was up in the big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. So you did anyway. How can I get up there? Hmm. Maybe when she writes in her journal, Now I'm a cat! What she really just means is that she escaped her window as a human, as a human child, but she's pretending to be a cat. And maybe she fell to her death while climbing the trees. On fiftieth time's the charm. I gobbled her up, and suddenly I was an owl. First, all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. Oh, maybe she's just a fiction writer. What can I grab? Rabbits. Rabbits? I had 
imagined his face looking up and seeing mine through my talons. I swallowed him up and I didn't chew one bit. Then I flew off to mm. find something bigger. That's bad for digestion, girl. You should chew while you eat. A mama rabbit. Where? Choking, but I couldn't stop eating. And suddenly, I was a shark. Oh, this is not good. Ow. Oh, I can flop around. Should I go find some water? This is getting a little bit bizarre. I rolled off a cliff and into the ocean. Now, I was hungrier than ever. And I see somebody there. Oh, these are like inverted controls or something. Oh my god. What? Juicy seals. Oh! I tore off her flipper and it tasted really good. So I wanted another bite. I'm having a little bit of trouble with the controls. I don't really know how to use inverted controls. Seal or a snake? Now I was a monster and I smelled people everywhere. Look at that bird. Molly is having quite the trip right now in more ways than one. Is that okay? Oh. There you go. Human. Gone. In one bite. But what's up here? Anything around the corners? Is that somebody sitting right there? Should I go in here? Damn! Are there more people around here? Doesn't seem so. Let's keep slithering back out. It's kind of annoying, but the snake, I have to lunge to for the camera to change. Hello? Oh, is someone driving the ship? They are. After the last passenger, I was still hungry. And across the water, I smelled something new. Something I had to have. So I swam towards it. I 
I slithered onto the sand, and the good smell went into an old pipe. Oh. Oh, I can even go up. It's a bathroom. I got closer and closer. Until I'm back home. Haha. <laughs> Recognize the bedroom? My stomach started growling. And suddenly, I was me again. I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. I think it's waiting for me to fall asleep. But it's not going to wait much longer. It needs to be, and we both know I will be delicious. gotta say. I'm not sure if I believed all of that, <laughs> but I'm sure Edie would have. Molly is quite, quite the writer. Quite the writer. And hey, look at this. There's me at the very end there. It's a family tree. No, no, don't go. No, 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 no. How do I bring it back up? I want to see it. There we go. Yeah, Edith right there at the very bottom. 1999. Lewis and Milton are dead. Every single person in this family tree is dead. All the way back to Odin. Odin. Odin's daughter is Edie. Oh. Molly is Edie's daughter. Hmm. Edie and Sven's daughter. Walter, who died in 2005. Sam. Calvin. Barbara. Molly. Hmm. And then I'm not sure who it was who had Dawn. Sam? Sam and Kay? But there's also another generation there. Alright. Interesting. Well, we got to learn a little bit about Molly. Molly was only 10 too. Can I see this again? Edith literally watched all of her children die. That's so sad. My mom. My mom's the last person who died in 2016. 